Welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 15. We've just kind of looked at the song of Moses. And now in verses 19 to 21, there's another song in Miriam. Well, let's read it here. For the horses of Pharaoh with his chariots and his horsemen went into the sea, and the Lord brought back the waters of the sea on them. But the sons of Israel walked on dry land through the midst of the sea. Miriam, the prophetess, Aaron's sister, took the timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dancing. Miriam answered them, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The horse and his rider he has hurled into the sea. So verse 19 and 21 uh, sort of seem to go together here, and there's a, some possibly a refrain back and forth uh, where they sing this way. It's, it's not completely clear. Is this the whole song? But we have the first part, we have the song of Moses, and then we have Miriam and the ladies. And just as the book of Exodus began with the ladies protecting the male children they were supposed to kill because Pharaoh had demanded it, here we have them uh, also participating, triumphing, and singing of God's deliverance of his people. God is highly exalted. God has thrown down the enemy. Remember, these enemies were oppressing, destroying, killing male babies. And not to mention who else got killed, you know, along the way in all this hard forced labor. Notice here also, this isn't some kind of an orgiistic, this is not sexual dancing. This is a celebratory, you know, this is happiness. This is we're glad that God is on our side. We're glad that God saved us. If God hadn't intervened, yeah, they would have been back in slavery or worse, maybe just killed. So God is on the side of his people. The men say so. The women say so. There's singing. There's rejoicing. And everybody is engaged here. So, yeah, here we are. Uh, and for Miriam, remember, she helped the little baby Moses all the way back when, you know, helped the Pharaoh's daughter to take him, and he was preserved from being destroyed in that general genocide of the male babies. So now Miriam is singing triumphantly at this place here. It sort of goes with the song of Moses. Uh, triumph. God wanted his people to win. Pharaoh wanted those people to die, and God won. So it's a good thing. And it's not bad to be joyful and rejoice when God has the victory. And by the way, this sort of brings to an end another of the major sections of the book of Exodus. From here, we're getting into several tests that are going to come in the wilderness. And we'll start on that tomorrow morning with the bitter water at Mara. See you tomorrow morning.